Hi. I would like to talk to you about something that's on my mind. Um, th Thanksgiving is uh, about a day away, and I wanted to bring up um, one of my um, fan fiction stories from the Empath the Lucky Smurf series um, that I created for um, that particular occasion. Uh, it was it was created uh, back in the late. 2010s. It's called called um, Empath and the Golden Magic Bird. It's um, it's basically about the Smurfs celebrating um, a, a similar holiday called the Harvest Feast, and they they bake a um, they they bake what they call a cornucopia. Uh, which is a pa pastry dish. Um, it's just this um, bread shaped in the form of a cornucopia with, with like stuffing in it. Just, uh, and um, and in in this in the story, um, Tracker and the Smurflings find a uh, a gold magic bird which is being haunted at after um, and they um, they they um, protect it, they feed it, and um, they bring it to the village, or rather, the bird brings them in itself to the vi village and inside, like um, like the Smurfs, Smurfs find out that it's a um, that it's a that's a magic golden bird, and um, this is, and um, Smurfs find out out when, when um, <coughs> Brainy and Clumsy are were watching over um, this this bird, and um, Bra Brainy was Brainy was busy reading a book, and he basically says to Clem, say, I wish you could be quiet and not disturb me. And, uh, and, um, and Clem, and Clem ends up becoming silent because, I mean, because he no longer has a voice and he ends up burn, burn, running off to find P Papa Smurf and, uh, and then Jokey come, comes around and, um, uh, And he feeds he, he feeds a bird, and uh, yeah, the main gimmick is that um, er, is that every every time um, someone feeds a bird and sings a joyful song, then someone gets their wish granted. And at that point, um, Brain just um, ends up wish, wishing for Papa Smurf to be. To be there, so so he can find. I mean, so he can find out what kind of bird it is, and and suddenly Papa Smurf appears out of nowhere. He, of course, before that he was he was, he was watching a football game with, with his little Smurfs, uh, and um, and he he realizes that this is the uh, wishing bird that that the uh, Smurfs brought home and. And he t tells him that um, that you f feed a bird, it sings, sings, a, sings a song, and you get your wish granted. And so, um, and so, um, pretty much throughout the story, um, the smir smurfs get their uh, w w wishes granted when they feed a bird and sings a happy song and stuff. I mean, Smurfette wishes for um, diamond-studded um, shoes, and Sasso wishes for M Empath to say how much he lo he loves her, and ends up ends up doting all her all his affections upon her, <laughs> and uh, and when. 
when the uh, football football game is over, uh, Hefty wishes that Smurfer would be be there to give him a kiss, and she she ends up peering out peering out of nowhere to give him a kiss, and <laughs> in the meantime, the uh, me, meantime the hunters uh, who are who are working for Lord Balthasar from the 1980s first cartoon show. Uh, I mean, they they end up losing tr track of the bird, and, and um, they they tell tell Lord Balthasar what's going on, and he suggests them getting a feather so that he can put a magic spell on it, and uh, he. They can uh, track the bird, bird using using the magic um, feather, and uh, so that when somebody makes a wish, they, they can follow the feather where where he's going. So that ha that that happens. Somebody makes a wish, and uh, end up following the feather, and. Soon, uh, mm -hmm. soon Tapper um, appears on the scene and tells tells Brainy and Columbia how to stir, how to smurf stop making wishes and like like because he's attracting attention. Um, well, he senses that it's attracting attention. It's, just, it's like, uh... Of course, Br Brainy ends up wishing for whoever... For, for whoever is, uh, Trying to track down the bird to come to the vil village so they could, they could deal with... They could deal with them and, uh... And and that, that wish ends up being granted, and um, Brainian's Brainian starts end up hiding, and the hunters um, f finally get the bird, and uh, it's like, and Brainy ends up wishing, wishing the uh, hunters away, and they they, they take they take the bird. With, with him and also Tapper. I mean, because they think that Tapper kn knows how, how to uh, <laughs> get the bird to, to uh, do what it is and what they want him to do. And, uh, and, 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 Imp Empath and um, and a few other spurs go go to Lord Balthazar's uh, castle, where where um, the wishing bird and and um, and Tapper held hostage and and a feeding feeding birds you know, taking some bird seed with them and, and a feeding bird and they're about to wish themselves back back to the. Uh, Smart village when Lord Balthasar um, appears on the scene and, and Duncan McSmurf says, says, I wish you wish you'd end up in Tartarus. <laughs> and, and Lord Balthasar ends up in Tartarus and it's like <laughs> and uh, and then the Smurf Smurfs appear back back in the village and uh, and Mother Nature ta takes takes the bird uh, to one of her private sanctuaries so, so that the bird will be safe and, and basically the uh, story ends with the Smurfs enjoying their uh, their harvest feast meal and and Smurf it on. Uh, Sort of an empath making amends with each other, just all that, all that um, fun stuff. Anyway, it's it's on um, 
Vic George's Imaginarium and uh, also uh, Sparks Fandom Wiki if you're uh, interested in checking out the story. So, oh, I hope you have a happy um, Thanksgiving or if you're going to be with family and or somebody you care about this, uh, this Thanksgiving. So, have a wonderful day and God bless you.